Somebody already said that. Okay, so let's let's say this is the this is the data you, that you want to select, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to validate here. So we call this department. Is that okay? So that on here we'll be able to select the departments here. Then we use it for our um, uh, VLOOKUP or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So good. So I go to. Yes, here. No, we can no. just do it next or, or now, yeah? Okay, okay fine. Yeah. Yeah. Then go to validate works on the report. Okay. Under so we data. click on where we want to do the validation. Yes. Okay, so we go to the data yeah. menu. Yeah. Okay. And we yeah. choose under the sub menu called data yeah. tools. Okay. Data validation. Yes. Correct. So the first box then we So the first Sub menu, you cannot see from there. Huh? No, yes, just do it. Okay, so settings. Mm -hmm. uh, from list. Okay, so we want yeah, to list. allow users to select from a list. Yeah, so we choose list. Yes, then select from the list. Oops, from the list that we just. Okay, so it's asking us the source of the list. We said we want users to select a list. Now it's asking us, what is the source of the list? Where is the list? Where can we get the list? So to get it, so you go and click here. Yeah. And where is your list? The list is here, isn't it? So the list starts from here all the way down here. So like I said, best practice, always leave a buffer yeah. so that tomorrow, if you need to insert any other department, it will always be there for you. OK, so what next, Ismail? Then press enter. You press enter. Right. Then to the next box. Okay, so we have we have three tabs, so we just finished the settings. Now we go to the input message. Can you throw light on this input message? What's this input message for? What's the purpose? To direct the whoever is filling the form to know what to do. Exactly. To direct whoever is filling the form to know what to do. Correct. Okay, so that means you you, you do a message here so that it can serve as a, a tip. Yeah. Okay. So, so we down. can do say choose from the drop down from a drop down. Okay. Then to the error alert. So we go to the error alert. Okay, so I use Oga. <laughs> Oga, Oga, heads up, huh? Heads up, Oga. <laughs> Oga, heads up. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> then the person will think you are <laughs> communicating with me. Okay, and then what next? Then okay. Let me say okay. Correct. So now we have validated this area. Can we demonstrate how to, since nobody's going to say this, let's demonstrate how this works. Yeah. So, so, so now, what, 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 what if you, if you uh, validate it, what happens? There are some changes to the cell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first cell, the first changes you realize is what? Okay, there will be, there will be a message if you click on the area that's validated. So that message is the input message, the, the message that tells you what to do. And again, there is what? There is a little drop down menu here. So, what is the purpose of this? To show you what to select. To show you what is select. So, what you do is you click on it, then whatever you have validated that can come there will all be here. Okay. And what that means is you cannot enter anything that is not here. Okay. So, let's try to choose one. Let's say domestic taxes, and it's going to come. We choose, let's say audit, and audit will come. But can we say type, uh, uh, how to call it, uh, let's say, huh? procurement. procurement. So let's try to type procurement, C-U-R-E-M-E-N-T. We enter. Oga, heads up, go back. Home. So it will tell you that. So no matter how, how many times you try, it will never allow you to do that. Okay, thank you.